Mm. Wait, Max, can we, can we do the troll? You know what? Right now, Daddy's got to work, so I need y'all to go upstairs, okay? okay. Bye, princesses. Bye. I can feel the ceiling. Daddy? I can feel it, too. Upstairs. Daddy's got to work. Okay. Man, I've been looking forward to telling you about this project for a while now, and it's finally time. But first, a story. It started about a month ago. No, it really started a few years ago. One of my VIP members, remember that, contacted me to mix a song he had produced for a local band up in Pennsylvania, uh, near Philadelphia. Uh, he had recorded it, but wasn't quite to a point where he was comfortable mixing it, so he hired me to mix the song. Uh, it was this band called Sunday Muse. You may recognize that name because Sunday Muse, the second song I mixed for them, they suggested, hey, why don't you make this a part of your Mixed Together series on YouTube? So I mixed their song Fool's Gold on the Mixed Together series, which is a free series of YouTube videos where I go through the entire mix from start to finish, and you can download the tracks yourself and check it out. Be sure to check out that song. So Caitlin Davini and Ben Morris are two members of Sunday Muse, and they have formed their own folk duo called Homestead Collective. I've seen them off and on, although they live in Philadelphia. They've come to Nashville a few times. I attended one of their house shows, and we've just hung out several times in person. But aside from mixing those two songs for them, we'd never really worked together. Then I had an idea. Every month, I do a challenge, or I give a challenge to my VIP members, and the challenge can vary from all sorts of things. But on this particular month, the challenge was to book a paid gig, meaning book something that you are getting paid to do that is music related. And of course, I never give the challenges without first doing the challenge myself, and this was my challenge, to go from scratch, go find a paid client. That was it. So I did the deal, I made a list of people to contact, Caitlin and Ben were one of them because we've never recorded anything together and I've always said I'd love to record something with you. So I literally just reached out and said, hey, it's November, why don't we do a Christmas EP? And they were so excited, loved the idea, and they immediately said yes, we booked a session and here we are. There's a little bit of time travel involved in this video. The actual session and the footage from the session was a couple weeks ago. The EP just released this week, so I wanted to save that footage until the EP is out before posting this episode of Gildercam for obvious reasons. It was a very fun and satisfying session. Uh, Frankie Barranco even stopped by to sing a vocal on one of the songs. We just had a blast. So, let me show you what we did. Okay, it's 11 p.m. the night before the session. I've really spent the last two days and just basically since moving in getting ready for this session slash getting my studio set up in general. And I'm sure this will evolve to many different iterations, but version one looks something like this. I've got my desk in the same position. I've got my keyboard closer with the laptop set up as a main stage rig. I've got this cute little cart, you can see down here, that I got from some like hippie store that's got uh, the interface for the main stage rig that's then just plugging line input into the mixer and then headphone amp with all my Q mixes that I can feed with long headphone cables to Ben and Caitlin when they're recording. And then I took the doors off of this closet behind me, uh, realizing that I was only using really that closet for mic locker and cables and things like that. This one wasn't really being used, so I took the shelves out, removed the doors, and I hung up these big black panels that I've had. They were originally bass traps two studios ago. I had them just set up horizontally in my last studio in the tracking room just as absorption. But they're here in this closet, and it's kind of a mini sort of a booth. I've got this gobo here that is acting as the side absorption from the mix position, but I can easily wheel it around however I want and have a spot that's pretty dead for recording, but it's still, you can still see everyone, which is nice too. Of course, this is all conjecture. I've not recorded anything. Hopefully it'll sound good. If not, we'll move around and try other things. Uh, ben has brought things like, there's a cello over there, there's an acoustic bass over here, a banjo. You might see there's a tom drum over here. He's got a lot of cool ideas that he wants to try and we're just gonna set up a bunch of mics, get it to where we can quickly switch from one thing to the next and then just create. 
and create and create and get rid of 90% of it and keep the 10% that's golden. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hey friends. Welcome. Working and then I'm like, I don't think about we'll food. Eventually. Right. One more O. Oh, 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 oh,
Hey, everyone.